don't get I don't get why they call him Little Eddie when he's so fucking big. I think it's supposed to be ironic. What? You know, the use of words to express something other than, and especially the opposite of, the literal meaning, usually a humorous or sardonic literary style or form. You got beat up in school a lot, didn't you? Yes. Somebody is about to strike, and somebody is about to get fucked up. 
Everybody get his ass kicked by Jack. Raise your hand. Oh, wait. He can't raise his hand, can he? Air today, gone tomorrow. Fucking weak. <laughs> Kung Fu Queen. Chris, didn't the two of you have a thing a while back? If by thing you mean a five minute fight that left me spinning teeth and pissing blood, yeah, then we had a thing. I'm going to enjoy every moment.
Society full of pussies. Now we're in for a fight. Fucking A, it's time for the big boys to dance. <laughs> Just like the great gladiators of ancient Rome, these two men will enter the arena and clash in hand to hand combat for nothing more than the enjoyment of the rich and powerful. Where the fuck did that come from? I've been out of reading quite once. Can you beat me, little one? The big bastard couldn't hurt us. I'm gonna rip your fucking head off like making an entrance through a bunch of flowers. And here comes the big boss! That waterfall is getting in the closest thing to a shower he's had in months! Shot boy. Shogun is a trademark of the Tokyo Gym. What the fuck is that? I don't know, some guy named me Round one! This should be fun. <laughs>
You know, I like a gal who sucks as much as the next guy, but this blood-hungry bitch can give a hickey that'll put you in the morgue. Yeah, I fought her in the Eastern Bloc games and lost the match. Four pints of plasma and was declared legally dead for a week. Awesome rock on her, though. Oh, true that. While you're blinded by her headlights, she'll sick a swarm of bastard bats on you to mess up your shit. Plus, the fuckers have fleas. Awesome rock on her, though. True that. Do your best, child. Kojak in this round. I love Kojak. That dude never, and I mean never, gets off his bike. I love it. Why do you love that? Okay, honestly, I could give a fuck that he never gets off his bike. In fact, I think it's stupid, but Kojak paid me to say it. Said he wants someone to promote not getting off his bike as his thing. That's funny, because he paid me to ask why you love him so much. Fucker. I'm gonna fuck you! Watch it, two grown men. 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 Watch it, two grown men.
Jack released the boss switch and is now able to face the big boss. How'd he do that? I guess he got enough points. You guess? Well, I'm not really sure. Ha <laughs> ha! Some announcer you are. Really? What's the name of the show? Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it starts with a Q. Or is it Kill Something? For the glory of our house!
a giant robot controlled by a remote control by some fat fuck chicken shit too scared to fight for himself. Why do they let him do that? Uh, probably because he's got to try to kill a robot. Makes sense. One destructible target found.
Navy SEAL, special ops, come on, bitch.
some real sweet cheeks on the gal, and she was damn handy with that bat, too. Speaking of which... Jack's got the bat in his hand and murder in his eye. And the bloodlust is building in the bleachers. Now the trappers are bringing in the Mad Dogs board, and they all know what that means. A big fucking finish. Yes, but I think Jack's got a little unfinished business first. The Baron doesn't even know what planet he's on. Pretty soon it won't matter. That's right, Baron. What's good for the bitch is good for the bastard. I wonder how he likes being on the receiving end of a pimp slap. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Time for that big fucking finish you were talking about. Absolutely. This is what we've all been waiting to see. Jack winds up. The crowd is going crazy. He swings. And the next, the same of the dartboard. And the Baron is history. This crowd has gone absolutely apeshit! And who can blame them? These fireworks are a fitting end to an explosive evening of murder and mayhem! Outstanding performance from Jack! What do you think's next for him, Chris? I don't know, a beer, some beaver, and a big fat sleeper! Speaking of beaver, it's time for us to split! This is Howard Buckshot Holmes! And Chris Creeley! Saying thanks to all the players, the viewers, and of course, our sponsors! And we'll see you in hell! Congratulations, Jack. Champion once again. At our considerable expense. Sucks to be you. Maybe you weren't meant to be in the bookie business. You could try something else. Polo, maybe. It's a thought. So is this. Kill him! Jack? Jack! Are you okay? Jack? What's going on? Looks like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack! I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you go into the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? I'll give you credit. You ran a pretty good line of bullshit. But in the end, it smelled exactly like crap. You were the one who set all this up. You and your daddy's company. <coughs> it's all about publicity, isn't it, Leo? What better way to get the word out about a killer virus than release it on an entire city? Funny coincidence, your company makes the vaccine. Why, any self-respecting country would pay whatever you asked if the alternative was annihilation. I... I don't want my lawyer. I've got... I've got nothing to say to you. Not even one little thing. See, I was wondering why Death Watch? 
If getting word out about the virus was the goal, why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack, you're here to arrest me, right? You better hurry or, or I'm gonna die on you. <laughs> oh, Leo. Poor little Leo. I'm no champion of justice, and I'm certainly not its bitch. What? You mean you're just using the Bureau? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> Clear your throat and answer my question, douchebag. My... my dad wanted the vaccine. That was his. I just... You just... It was fun, Jack. That's all. I can have anything. Drugs. Women. But the game. Jack the game. It was the best, Jack. Ah, so that's why you were there. Just had to be in the thick of it, didn't you? Wanted to feel it on your skin. <coughs> now, help me, or I'm gonna... <coughs> I don't help people. I kill them.